Hi, I'm Jamie from 4-Wheel Drive Hardware. Some of you may or may not know, we have a great working relationship with 4-Wheel Parts. They're a parent company, and we're going to help them this year celebrate their 50th year anniversary. To help them celebrate, they've purchased two Jeeps. One of them is a 2011 JK Wrangler, and another is a 60s body CJ5. They're going to use these Jeeps to span the 50 years that they've been in business and show what you can and can't do with vehicles. When we heard they were doing this, we immediately jumped in and said we wanted to be a part of the CJ. We're going to take one, completely rebuild it, make it look nice, and restore it to what it would have been from the showroom. After a lot of searching, we found a nice CJ5 from Southern California. The thing is super clean, there's no rust. It took us a long time to find the right Jeep, but we found it. When you pick one of these Jeeps up, you're always going to find that some things just don't make sense. For example, it has a power steering unit on the front of it. This thing squeals like crazy. There's no front bumper, it had a tow bar on it. It's got diamond plate on the side. That's not a problem, but at the same time, it's not what we like. We're going to fix it, make it look right. Some of our plans with this Jeep are to media blast the body and the frame. So it's all coming apart. We're going to make it look right. We're going to convert it back to power or manual steering. Um, the power steering is a cool option, but it's just not what we're looking for. We want to make it uh, right. We're also going to put new, a new best top soft top on it, just to freshen it up, make it look right. We're going to put some new Smitty Built seats in it. You might wonder why we're tearing seats out of a Jeep that looks pretty good. This thing has Mustang seats in it. Again, something that you just think like, why did they put them in there? They look smooth, but it's just not right. So we're going to be restoring this vehicle from the ground up. We're tearing it all apart, which I know you're probably thinking, man, that thing's way, it looks really clean. And it does. But um, again, we want it to look perfect. So we're going to tear it all apart. We're going to do some build videos as we're doing it. So you're going to get to see how we do everything from the motor to the axles to tearing the body off, painting, the whole deal. Um, we just want to try to show customers how easy it is to actually rebuild one of these old Jeeps, have, them, have fun with it, enjoy the build and um, then be able to take it out and actually enjoy it on the street. Um, for more information on the parts we're going to be using, you can check us out at 4WD.com or 4 And then you can also call and talk to one of our friendly sales representatives.